Hi YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome to Caught on Camera. This is a brand new I'm on Observation Duty style game that looked extremely similar to Alternate Watch. It has a similar style of anomalies where they're like these faceless, creepy people that are like moving around in your house and it looks absolutely awesome. I love Alternate Watch. It's my favorite Observation Duty style game, except or b besides the mainline Observation Duty games. So if you haven't already watched me play Alternate Watch, I'll link the videos over on the top right but anyway i can't wait i hope you enjoy if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you dislike it dislike it but let's not waste any more time let's hop into the game let's go oh boy here we go i think i've seen this house about a hundred times is this the ghost watcher's house uh this how many cameras do we got okay it's a new observation duty game so you know what we got to do we got to keep in mind all of the items that are in every room there is a total of four cams that should be doable uh before we look at the reports let's quickly take a, a cursory glance of what we got going on here we have shoes clothes on the ground and a carpet okay we have uh four paintings we got a plant we got a chair and some stuff on the ground or stuff on the tables. We got two beer bottles over here. Three paintings. Important. Um, we have a window with no people looking inside of it. That's going to be important too. Uh, and then, yeah. I'll, I mean, chat I think is actually in a pretty good spot right here. There you guys go. Uh, let's see what kind of reports we got. We have moved objects. Okay. Uh, or replaced we have missing objects strange light we got distorted objects extra objects strange painting intruder or other i, I always appreciate it when an observation duty style game does not have other this is definitely a different camera now excuse me wait was no never mind it wasn't no i just never looked at this camera okay so this camera looks at the other camera which is interesting what really is different on this there's a door open here there is two um Two paintings there. Also, it's kind of quiet. Let me turn up the audio. Uh, the shoes moved. Look at that. I already, I already spotted something. I'm insane. The shoes were over here first. I'm gonna turn up the audio even more. We're gonna get blasted here. Oh, we're definitely gonna get blasted. Holy shit. <laughs> nice fixing. Okay, so that's fixed. I don't know how. Like, you never know with these Observation Duty style games how their pacing is. Some games, like Alternate Watch, has absolutely, like, brutal pacing, where you just, like, constantly have to spot anomalies. And if you don't, like, if you're not constantly reporting anomalies, you're gonna die. Which, by the way, I did a video where I played Alternate Watch on, like, five times speed or something, and I still won, which was insane. One of my favorite Observation Duty videos I've ever made. It was absolutely intense so this door do we have a strange painting plant moved in the living room plant moved in the living room thank you <clears throat> all right two reports already and it's only 45 how fast does the time move in this game um here we go that is a very loud buzz i'm gonna not turn it down slightly so you guys don't lose your ears um oh i'm gonna turn on the I think this is just a fridge making this noise. All right, everything else. So they're pretty subtle anomalies, uh, so far at least. It's just very small things moving a tiny bit. So we need to pay very close attention. This was already open. I paid attention to that. I don't know. Yeah, there's a, some clothes over here that I'll keep an eye on because I'm covering it. Um, the chair still in the same place. There's the dude. There's animations and everything. The wind's moving these curtains. That's cool. Out of ordinary. Thank you for the two. Um, we're totally chilling. But these games, because, <laughs> like, I love how every game says their, has their, or every one of these games has their own style of anomalies. That first intruder hits so hard. You're like, you're just chilling. You're like super hyper-focused on all the little things that might have been changing because it's your first time playing. And then all of a sudden there will be like this twitchy guy in your face and you'll just absolutely die uh i don't think tunnel vision i think this is normal this is just uh just the, the fish eye lens that we got going on for our camera so we can see more besides that i don't see anything i have to look at chat for these games because they're way better at this than i am because you guys are uh, a hive mind you will not miss a single anomaly this is still the same hey welcome suit kitty what's up uh, cursed painting. Dude, I'm actually insane at this game, it turns out. 
on the best observation duty gamer of all time which by the way if you didn't already hear it observation there's two very exciting observation duty uh things coming up soon there is i'm an observation duty six which will be coming out very soon and then there is also the welcome to the game developer has been making an i'm an observation duty game so we're gonna get welcome to the observation duty very soon and i cannot wait that is super exciting stuff <laughs> so yeah i hope it's gonna have like noir breaking into your house like i hope it's gonna just be completely uh welcome to the game style intruders that would be so cool like lucas the breather laying on your bed stuff like that oh man it's gonna be awesome uh there's more clothes here extra object that's not normal there's too many clothes he's cracked i'm sorry i'm giving you guys no chance to help me because i'm just too damn good at this game he says before he's gonna get killed by uh was the curtain always moving yeah 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 the wind's been uh and blowing it the whole time i wish i could move my cameras with the oh you can move it with the arrow keys okay that's nice uh still creepy sounds there this there's definitely gonna be someone standing in this <laughs> in this doorway at some point you already know it so far it's been pretty chill i don't mind a chill start usually so these games are obviously we're gonna go till 6 a.m which i don't know why 6 a.m is like the number for for like survive the night games oh hi there what the hell <laughs> we got our first intruder you got some terrifying eyeballs my friend i'm gonna say that's uh, an intruder in the bedroom get out of here hi buddy <laughs> sir no thank you you can hear the wind 7 a.m it's just not creepy anymore but like where i live in the summer it gets light so early like it it's light like the birds start chirping at 4 a.m like i know i've gone to bed far too late if i hear the birds chirping and i'm like oh shit <laughs> i went to bed at degenerate hours again that's a creepy anomaly hey we only saw a small little bit of it running water i think the running water oh yeah you're right that does not look like water but i'm gonna say that's other right here in the kitchen Thank you. That's the first time you guys got it before me. Great job. You're a genius. That's got to be other, right? Nice. Your sunrise at 4 a.m. too. Cause which what, what was the first game to do survive and oh that's a distorted painting. What the hell? What was the first game to do survive until 6 a.m.? Was it Five Nights at Freddy's? Was uh 2014 the first time someone did that? And everyone has just adopted it as gospel. I feel like I feel like it's a it's a FNAF mechanic that is like gone far beyond FNAF. Like a survive the night style idea. Has honestly been like almost taking over some horror genres. Like Welcome to the Game to a certain degree could be considered like a survive the night style game. Um which is, uh, I mean, obviously is very different from FNAF. And then Observation Duty is, uh... Which Observation Duty hasn't really been a big genre until very recently. That's movement, right? Is it movement? Has this always been in a line like this? I thought this was like this. I thought this, this was in a different shape, but I'm not entirely sure. It has moved? They moved. Okay, thank you guys. That's where I can double check with you guys, which is really nice. Because I wasn't entirely sure. We got it. Nice. Yeah, it wasn't like a V shape. We're way too good at this. We're going to immediately solve it on the first try. You're not supposed to beat observation duty games on the first try. We did also get an intruder before 3 a.m. Which is usually when these games start getting crazy. At 3 a.m. That's when the... That's the witching hour after all. Do not talk to Five Nights at Freddy's at on the Ouija board at 3 a.m. or whatever. Is the, Are those videos still being made? Is that guy with the fidget spinner at the start of his videos like, I'm gonna do fidget spinner and scroll through my Instagram comments. Is that guy still making videos? I forgot what his name was. He's still at it? Probably. <laughs> Literally all he would do every single video was like, 
uh, do like a minute, two minutes at the start, scrolling through his Instagram comments to, to force people to go to his Instagram and comment. This light is on. No, that light was always on. Never mind. <laughs> and then he would do some like call Freddy at 3 a.m. challenge or whatever. The like J Station kind of bullshit. Didn't J Station go to jail for her? I don't know. Didn't he, like, abuse his girlfriend or something? And people are crazy. Or was it... Oh, no, he faked the... Ah, too many anomalies! He faked the death of his girlfriend. That was what it was. Uh-oh, too many anomalies. Chair moved? Where? Chair moved? Where? Help. Chair... Can you say the room? Living room? Okay, thank you, finally. Goodness gracious. Wait, oh, this chair moved slightly. Yeah, you're right, you're right. But there's also more anomalies. What else? Let me through. Okay, this is still the same. Ah, uh, I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna die. Are we gonna the other one? The other chair? Light in bed. Is the light not light? Strange light in the bed. I don't know if there's punishment for wrong anomalies. Uh oh, there's handprints. We got fingies. <laughs> we got fingerprints, guys. Not found. No, I'm stupid. Okay, come on. Fingerprints. We got... I would say that's other. Other in the living room. Okay, we got fingies. Write it down, write it down. Man, this is like... Like... I am so excited for the Phasmo update. Like... I mean, we haven't had something in super long. The custom difficulty update was also very fun for me personally. But I'm excited for the Phasmo update to a degree that I am usually not excited for anything. Because whenever something like releases, I'm like, oh, that's going to be fun on stream. It's gonna, like fun in a job kind of way. Like, like, oh, I'll have a few days of fun job work to do. But here I'm like genuinely, I want to... The plant did not move. The plant's supposed to be in the middle. Here I'm genuinely like, I just want to fucking play the update. Like, as a gamer. Um, the chair in the living room moved. No, we already went over this, guys. Kitchen back window. It's closed. It's supposed to be closed. You guys are, you guys are tripping. Uh, this, this might have moved. Is this here? Is this painting different? TV controller? TV controller. Movement, 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 movement. Let's go. That's easy peasy. This pan was always there or... Where are my intruders? Oh, did I die? I thought I died there. I thought it just faded to black and it was gonna say like, You dead. <laughs> you dead. Uh, what is going on over here? Papers? Carpet? Carpet? Carpet is fine. Did it move? This one, we just got all these paintings are the same. How are there too many anomalies if we're not spotting anything right now? I mean, you're not supposed to win on your first try, as I said. So we, we need to pay attention right now to see what's different after we, like, reload. We're going to do a quick pass through the cameras and compare notes. Papers weren't there. Yeah, it might be extra object. It might be extra objects of the papers. Oh, they were always there? Okay, never mind then. Oh, here's something missing for sure. There was something there. Oh, wait. Uh, buh, 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 buh. It was? Wait a minute. Uh, missing object in the kitchen? Wait, there was something. Wait, what was it? <laughs> wait, excuse me? It wasn't the papers. It was something else. Okay, this one we got... Maybe the plate was also missing? Oh, there was an extra carpet? Damn, that's rude. That's so sneaky. <laughs> Alright, where, where are my intruders? Come break into my house. I invite you to break into my house. I mean, are you really an intruder if I invited you? I'm gonna report you. Like, observation duty is such a cool genre. Like, it's such an easy genre to get into. You could pump out observation duty games so fast, but it also is a genre where you have a big chance to stand out as a game developer because there has not been much innovation in this genre. Like, most games are, are like this. S look at cameras, report things that are changing. Like, there, this is, this, this genre is ripe for innovation. Like, I, the most, the, the, 
most fun innovation that we've seen is like crazy anomalies like the crazier the anomaly the better um because if you plan to make like i i know i said like go make observation duty games because they're like super easy to make uh and we need more of them but at this point i would say if your plan is to just make an observation duty game that's gonna be look at four different cameras report when shoes move and report the naked people like we already have those games we have five of them to be exact like we don't need more um <laughs> give us give us like either maybe some story like maybe an interesting story uh maybe some like vhs type observation duty or alternates like uh, alternate watch this is different this light is fucked replaced object in the bedroom um that light's not supposed to look like that <laughs> or like in weird locations maybe like uh i don't know yeah, I don't know what else kind of a crazy innovation. We could have the blue cup. Is that not... Oh, there's an extra... Extra beer bottle here. Need urban exploration duty. That would be interesting. Where you, you, wait, that would actually be interesting. Like a, a ghost hunting style where you're like, Wait a minute, that was not like that before. And then you look back at the footage and you get like bonus points for spotting haunted activity. To make like a YouTube video or something. Wait. What? Did it say not found? Wait, there's still extra bear. Wait, what? What's going on here? Wait, what? I'm confused. Okay, I'll take the two free reports. Nice. Very good. There. This is a, this is a relaxing observation duty, huh? That's another thing. If you make an observation duty... For the love of all that's holy, please balance your intruders. So many observation duty games that I've played have some of the, like, I think Alternate Watch is a perfect example of a absolutely meticulously perfectly crafted balance. But this game kind of, unless it's going to go really crazy between five and six, it's looking like it's going to be a poorly, poorly paced um, extra TV no extra thing it's looking like it's going to be a slightly poorly paced uh observation duty where there's not enough intruders because people forget that somehow i don't know how you forget that uh, another example was like the the phasmophobia like observation duty that we played when we played it the first time um i'm gonna say that's moved object in the kitchen um like, people just forget you're making an observation duty game. Don't forget you're making a horror game. So it is up to you to try and make it scary. If you spend, like, 30 minutes going from uh, 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. and you get one guy pointing out of a window, that's not a horror game. You're just creating a spot the difference game, which is also fine. I Like, I genuinely just like the spot the difference gameplay enough to, to be engaged by that. But... Make sure to balance your... It's really not that hard. I know you got them. You're not... I know you got anomalies and intruders. Just make sure there's some kind of pity timer. Like, if you... Oh, my God! That's an insane anomaly. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, baby. Holy shit. Like that. Exactly. <laughs> like that. Goodness gracious. Get out of here. That's... Oh! What the fuck? <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> See, I know you got him. You just got to show him. <laughs> that's exactly what I'm talking about. This game, this game got good anomalies. I feel like that's... No, I don't think it moved. Damn, that's awesome. But at the same time, you, like, got to keep... Like, it's it's a tough thing to balance. Like, I know I'm, I'm talking about it as if it's easy. Like, just make more for... Like, just make them spawn more forehead. What the fuck? <laughs> All right, the game is listening to my microphone. What the hell is going on? Get out of here. <laughs> Are you going to attack me? I want to see you move closer. Damn, they are cursed. Okay, he, you're going to come in, though. I got to report you now. Kitchen? Are you going to move? No, nope, you're just chilling there. You're never going to move. Oh, there he comes. <laughs> what the fuck? 
Damn, that's cool. I like the animations. Okay, well, uh, I take everything back. This game is freaking awesome. I mean, I, I, I didn't doubt that. Like the anomalies from what I've seen look absolutely incre incredible and crazy. Uh, but damn. Okay, we got an open door again. Moved object in the kitchen, and we're just gonna beat this game first try. By the way, isn't is that even legal? Can you just beat an observation duty game on your first try? The the anomaly was was hungry. Like I, because it would be really interesting. There's like two things that are never truly explained in any of these games, except like the alternate watch, because it's a Mandela catalog inspired game, which Mandela catalog had a has a whole lore. But like, why are there anomalies is basically never explained. And then the other thing is how are they removed is also never explained. So there could be a game that's gonna like dive into those aspects. But anyway, first try victory. Let's do hotel and then we like do, let's do both of them twice. Or if we, I don't know if we, we can do that because we might lose, uh, but let's do the hotel now. Oh boy, there's a lot of items here. Okay, uh, so there's lots of papers. Oh, this is gonna be tough. There is a magazine, a plant, uh, and a chair that's pointing towards us, as well as flowers. Okay, next camera. We got a... Oh, yeah, it's a hotel. We got the, like, cart with cleaning supplies. We have 203, two landscape paintings, and a plant back there. Check. We have a... One of these weird rooms where you can get ice. That's such a weird thing. I think this is an ice machine. I have never seen an ice machine outside of the U.S. It probably exists, and I just haven't been to enough hotels outside of the U.S., but... It's like a thing you find in every hotel uh, in the U.S. We have uh, four pillows, two uh, towels, and we have a chair as well as some pencils and two pictures. Okay. Oh, wow. We have a bunch of flies out here. We got some bamboo. And this game looks good. We got some plants being planted and some trash as well. And three plants right there. And then we're back at the beginning. Okay, we got a light switch, which I can't click. Uh, you never saw one in Europe hotels? Yeah, I think it's a US thing. Like, I remember we bought a... Also, there's... One, two, there, uh, there's just a bunch of things there. I don't think they're gonna, like, take one of these out and expect you to see that. That would be really rude. But we used to have a cool box that we would just fill, like, with ice at every hotel. And then use like that's how cool boxes work like i i'm so used to a cool box being um like electronic where it's just like an electrical cooler but, oh what the fuck oh my god that was unexpected holy what a cursed anomaly all right, I'm reporting you. Where's this room? That was literally our first thing. I'm gonna say that's an intruder. Get out of here. Goodness. Ah! <laughs> Damn, dude. This is cool. This game is very fun. <laughs> very cursed, but very fun. Okay, we have... Is there too much fertilizer here? I swear they added more fertilizer. I think it's extra object. Maybe not. I thought it said potato for a second, but it didn't. Probably not. Um, same amount. All right. Well, there seems to be no punishment for reporting wrong, so it's fine. Not found. All right. The trash is supposed to be there. I know that. Okay, we got a plant back there. Uh, I don't even remember what I was talking about. The anomaly took the wind out of me. Oh, yeah, about cool boxes. Yeah, so in the cool box we got in the US is literally just like fill a box with ice and that's your cool box. Like, I mean, it makes a lot of sense, but the, wait, what? The glasses, 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 glasses. The, oh, hi there. I'm gonna say there is a missing object in the ice room. Oh yeah, it's literally called the ice room. <laughs> I think that's an ice machine. So there's missing glasses, and there's a door smacking. Alright, door. Who is doing this, huh? Uh, report ice room moving objects, I guess. Yeah, it's an ice machine. I mean, I guess it's... Wait! Is this an intruder? Is it other? It's other, probably. It's gonna like 
We're gonna have to report it as intruder and then a guy's gonna come run into the room. Okay, it was other. Nice. You can no, you cannot report two things at the same time. Um Oh good. We good, we good. There's still lots of flies out here, and so apparently four fertilizer is normal. And three two oh three still. This camera has such a strange angle. Every time I go to this camera, I feel like the camera has changed angle. Toilet paper on the ground is normal. I, I took note of that when I first went to that camera because I was like, that's a little weird. Having the toilet paper right there, but it's it's supposed to be. Extra bamboo outside. Mm. Is it? There's three here and then four here. That feels like it's relatively normal. I feel like that's what we had before, not extras. Was the fan out since the beginning? Was it? There's a fan? You mean the sound? This is the ice machine. I actually really like it when observation duty games have... Oh, this fan. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure. I like it when observation duty games have environmental noise. Because so often are they just completely silent and it's just kind of awkward. A little bit. It was always on. It's going the opposite. Too many anomalies! Ah! Get out of here. Report. Goodbye. Goodbye, lady. She's cursed. She's after. Oh my god! <laughs> I love that too, by the way. I think that's some. That is so fun. Like the anomalies moving when you look at them. Uh, but not killing you. I think that was a mistake in Observation Duty 1 that the anomalies could kill you, which uh, Like it makes sense to I mean doesn't make sense. Not really uh, toilet paper. It's supposed to be on the ground Um, but Like it's it's fun to look at them What else is the bamboo? Okay, let's do extra object here because people keep saying it How do you pronounce this word by the way? Is it patio or pot? Patio? Such a weird word. Not found. Room. It's patio? Okay. Patio. Patio! Oh yeah, patio. That's even weirder. Patio. Uh, we're dying by the way. Get ready to die. This is the same. What are we missing? Like, what? what's going on here? Wait a minute. Is that an extra? No. In the office, there's an extra box. Okay. Reception, extra box. Oh, you're right. There we go. Patio is such a weird way to pronounce that. I would never remember that. Next time I see that word, I'm going to be like, oh. Okay, that was the extra box. Thank you. So many words in English are like so weirdly pronounced that the chair moved Offices there are more magazines I don't think so. There were always two missing box in office. All right, you tell me Room number is still the same. It's still two You are totally right. Thank you for telling me. I don't know what but you got it What was it? It was a missing object there? Was it one of these boxes? Magazines gone? They're still there. What do you mean gone? Extra box in the ice room? I could see that. Down here? Oh yeah, you're right. This box is extra. This box is not supposed to be there. Jeez. I must forget how long the sound is. Okay, this room has only had one giant intruder. Okay, <laughs> nice one. Okay. Uh, the patio is cursed again. I'm gonna have to try it. Like, every time... It's one of those words that, like, immediately leaves my brain. As soon as I say it, I'm like, wait, how do you pronounce it again? It's breathing. It's moving. Gonna kill us. Oh! Ooh. <laughs> That's good, man. 
That's awesome. I'm gonna say that's an intruder. Damn, they got some good ass intruders in this one. One of the best intruders we've seen. Not found! I, I guess other than. Uh, or strange lights? Probably other, but maybe strange light. It was strange light. Okay, nice. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Good shit. That was cool. I really like that one. Uh, hi, sir. It's this guy again. What are you doing back there? And these animations are well done as well. I want to see you come closer to the camera. I think it's once you report them that they start. I think it's like uh, observation duty where if you report an anomaly, they move. I think that's how it works in this one as well. So we're just going to report them. Uh, and then he's going to move. Is that how it works? Oh, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yes, that's definitely how it works. <laughs> nice. Good shit, man. I love it here. He's ascending. We're getting so many more intruders now. I guess it was just, it was just ramping us up slowly. Oh boy. quiet out here this is a nice place though i love how <laughs> like i've been to some jank paper two toilets oh yeah you're right i've been to a wide variety of u.s uh hotels and motels uh that's an extra object like oh what the hell lapis thank you for the 10 gift subs thank you holy shit thank you um and some of them have like a pool and then the pool is literally like a square like a tiny square with water in it just so they can put it on their like their uh trip advisor page like <laughs> oh wait the number is a three now excuse me it's a uh, moved objects over here in the hallway like there's some janky honestly my guilty pleasure is like a bad motel like a like a completely car centric motel where i mean i guess that's how motels are like they they started right where aren't motels like motor hotels isn't that like what it's short for but where you're like those classic motels where it's like just a large parking lot along like a uh, like a um ar like an artery road road or an arterial road or whatever you call it um and it's just in the middle of like a there's like the type of cities you see in the US like so often is like a street city where it's just like a a very fast road going like in a straight line for miles and miles and miles and then all of a sudden there'll be like uh wait what vent room changed vent room oh the vent moved yeah you're, are you right maybe i don't know um and then there'll just be like a street that like along the street there'll just suddenly be houses there will just be houses like along both sides of the street and that's the whole city like the whole city is just a one street which is like such a weird alien concept to to me like i've never seen a similar style city anywhere uh that i know is this painting wasn't it a landscape before I thought it was a landscape, or has it always been a castle? I'm not entirely sure. We don't talk about those places, but honestly, I like strangely love them because they are so alien to me. Similar, like another thing I really like in the US is like just these like insane roads that go through like the middle of the desert. And then you have like one gas station, <laughs> like actually like 50 kilometers that way, nothing. 50 kilometers that way, nothing. One gas station. And, like, the people that work there probably sleep there or something. Or they have, like, a huge commute every day. But I love those places because you, like, stop there and you're just, like, actually nowhere. You're just completely in the middle of nowhere. And it's, it's like, kind of magical in a way. <laughs> those are legit not safe? What do you mean? What do you mean not safe? You love Highway 1? Or yeah, it's like a liminal space almost. 
Yeah, we're definitely fucking it up, by the way. Missing box? No, this box was supposed to be missing. We're totally gonna die because I'm talking about highways. Uh. Fuck. Nothing here. Oh, no! I freaking called it. All right, so that we got a lot of anomalies there, though. That's fine. Hey, we we were supposed to lose. That's the that's the more difficult map. Okay, running it back on this one. Let's do both of them. I think we can do. How far did we make it there, by the way? We can. We're definitely gonna beat the hotel, but I want to do this one because I want to see more anomalies here. I want to see whatever's gonna come out of this room right here. We made it to 3:49. That was pretty good. I mean, obviously, still had a long way to go there. Uh. What was different here? Because we had a... Like, we had two anomalies active that we never spotted. But I don't see anything that's out of the ordinary. I missed the light in the hallway? What? Oh, the faceless intruder? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, true. Maybe they came out of there. But I want to have someone, like, creepily stand in that room. And, like... Like, look at us. Like, creep on us. You missed the toothpaste? Wait, extra object already here. Excuse me. And that's a sneaky one. We would have definitely missed that if we didn't know this from last game. Extra painting on the TV. Didn't I already get that one, though? I got that one last time. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. There was an extra thing. I got that. I reported that. I'm fairly sure. Dude, you see the same pic- I wonder where these paintings come from. Like, where does this painting come from? Where does this painting come from? And the Michael Myers painting I always call out. Like, where- There must be, like, a Unity asset pack that, like, every developer buys. Because every single Unity game has the same paintings. Guy in window? Oh, hi. <laughs> I didn't see you there. Uh, intruder, get out of here. Get out of my face. I did not see him. Dude, look at him creep on us. Is he gonna move? He doesn't move. He just sits there. He's the only non-moving intruder. Uh, well, so far, so good. It's, it's interesting how... I don't know if this is what happens every time, but so far... In the first hour, we tend to get an intrude. No, I think it was just complete. Oh my god, what are you? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> You're cursed. Look at this guy. There's so many of these. These are well done. I'm gonna say that's an intruder in my bedroom. Are you gonna move? He's not moving. He's just chilling. Goodbye. <laughs> Open drawer and bedroom. Now that's supposed to be open. I know that because I paid attention to it last time. Damn. Yeah, I, I think we just got strangely unlucky on our first run. And we just didn't have any anomalies from 1 till like 4 a.m. Because oh boy have we had a lot of anomalies since. I, there's obviously oh no there was already something coming out of here ah you again <laughs> what the hell how do we get three intruders in one hour this is freaking ridiculous dude you're crazy do you think there you go <laughs> damn i love this guy absolutely cursed he's just lost yeah he's just trying to hitchhike is hitchhiking even legal? I feel like hitchhiking shouldn't be legal. Like, that's some serial killer nonsense. Like, on both sides. Both the hitchhiker as well as someone picking up the hitchhiker. Like, both sides have too, too much opportunity for serial killerness. Most states, it's not legal. Does it happen often, though, or is it purely a horror game trope? It's probably purely a horror game trope. I wonder if we're ever going to see, um, like, uh, s s Rides with Strangers come out. I don't know why that game just never got made. Like, the demo was already so good. I kind of want to play it again. The demo is, like, genuinely just a fun game. It would be so... 
it would take so little effort like at this point the bar is so high because the game has been in development for like 10 years almost at this point it feels like so now people are expecting like a huge game not knowing that adam hasn't really focused his attention on that game for for like a long time now but yeah i'm, a, I'm curious to see uh what adam is coming up with for an observation duty game like i hope it's not like i hope it's either gonna be like creative and new or it's gonna be like p completely welcome to the game themed with like very cool like noir type of intruders because if it's just another observation duty game i'd be slightly disappointed i'd be like come on man i expected uh big things from uh a great developer let's see uh what is the distorted object there we go like you've made so many crazy games make a crazy observation duty game too what's the drawer open yeah it's always open he streams the development of the game yeah I, uh i don't want to spoil myself though i don't like to watch things before they're done i do think yeah dev streams are like dev logs on youtube are very interesting there's a whole like um community of or not community like i guess you call it a community but there's a whole like genre of uh devlog videos which is like the main oh the double picture again oh whoops um it's just like the main way some developers market their games nowadays is just having like a, a pop-off devlog youtube video that goes viral and then that's how you just that's your whole, whole marketing right there <laughs> You hate the phone buzzing sound? It makes you check your phone. <clears throat> any, like, any other people who never have their phone on anything but silent? I never turn my phone on sound, never vibrate. I have it on silence for as long as I can remember. I don't know, I don't know how you would live if you would get, like, fucking notifications for every little thing. Same. Okay. Seems like a lot of people have the same. Okay. I, I thought, I thought like maybe, maybe it's special, <laughs> but no, it seems like it's very common. Okay. Kitchen. This was moved, right? Yeah. Silent phone. You hate hearing notification sounds. Just, we're going to get jump scared real soon here. I guess this is... We had three anomalies in the first like 30 minutes and then now it's chill again i do that like that is interesting because when you don't have like a pity system or so also there's a cursed face in here hello uh that's a strange painting right there and you don't have like a system where the uh, the intruders are evenly spaced like you're always every hour has like an anomaly or an intruder you do create this like uh fun kind of pacing where sometimes it's just super chill for a while and then all of a sudden you just have intruder after intruder after intruder <clears throat> and i st still miss calls i get even though you put your phone on on blast i mean i am terrible at answering my phone and answering my emails like i never check my email my ta my accountant must be so through with me <laughs> Like, it's so often that I, like, miss emails from my accountant, and then, like, last minute before the fucking tax deadline, I'm like, hey, here's my entire administration, have fun. <laughs> and you just be like, god damn it! <laughs> Rio, thank you for the three. Hey, that's what you get when you... <laughs> when you ask, like, a, a millennial to do his taxes every three months. I have to do my taxes every quarter it's fucking annoying as hell oh the sink yeah the sink other that's way too often i know and then i also have to do it a bonus time i have to do another type of taxes every single month and then i have to do uh like big taxes every i have to do fucking like taxes every two months on average well no every literally every month for a specific type of taxes like uh salary taxes uh bedroom moved objects it's fucked it's annoying as hell like i want to go back to the time when i just had to do it once a year and you just like 
Man, that's it. Like, if there's one, <laughs> it's it's literally just complaining about nothing. Uh, but if there is a single thing that's annoying about being self-employed, it's that your taxes are not just because when when I was just working as like a student assist or a teaching assistant, my taxes were literally like, um, go on the tax websites, log in with my like uh, Dutch like citizen ID, and then like click on check taxes scroll down to the bottom and click on accept and that was all you had to do because they like literally they like fucking i don't know 1984 spy on every single money that you get so they like know exactly what's coming in and out and your your like employer reports every single thing they pay you out as well so they literally know everything about what you get so you don't have to do anything you literally just yeah i think there are pillows missing now that you're saying it uh you literally just click a button and that's how you do your taxes and it's so easy. You don't have to do anything. Um, yeah, you're right. But now I have to do so many things. But it's fine. Like, I just... I, I'm getting slightly into the rhythm where, like, every three months I just know I gotta, like, do all my administration. Um, which luckily... Oh, this chair moved again. Not too much. Like the the and the other like on the opposite side, there's some crazy nice perks of uh, <laughs> doing the job that I do, which is that I can literally tax deduct. Like the only expenses I have is buying games, so <laughs> I get to I get the like they're like business expenses, <laughs> which is very nice. I get to buy all my games. If I just make one video on a game, I get it for free. <laughs> Like, Borrow Trauma, for example, has become, like, my favorite game to play at the moment. All I had to do was make one video on it. Now it's free, baby. <laughs> Living room. I mean, it's not free, but it just, you don't have to pay taxes on it. Uh, moved object. What a flex. Hey. <laughs> you know what you Oh, there's also... Oh, no, that's just this object that moved. I love that game. It's actually, like... If I wasn't... I guess one of those games that if I would have found it at the time that I was, like, uh, a university student, I don't know if it was out at the time, but uh, it would have been, like, the game I would play. I would play it for, like, 800 hours in the first year that I found the game. I would not do anything else besides playing that game. It's like Kenshi, but... Oh! It's like Kenshi, but actually, like, somewhat balanced. Because I never got into Kenshi, because that game is too hardcore for me. It's actually fucked up. But it gives me huge Kenshi vibes. I don't know if there's any Kenshi fans in, in the chat. That's new? Yeah, of course. Kenshi has insane depth, I know. But, like, Borrow Trauma is pretty similar in single-player mode. Is very similar. And it's kind of like RimWorld in a way as well, which I love RimWorld too. I just wish, wish RimWorld... What is it with those type of games looking like absolute dog water? <laughs> like RimWorld, Dwarf Fortress. I know they did a graphical overhaul for Dwarf Fortress, but those games are so fun that they look like shit. I think the best looking game like that... I mean, I guess it's not a game like that, but Factorio looks pretty good, even though it's like a nerd game. Uh, living Room... Move objects. <clears throat> what game I said is like Kenshi? Borrow Trauma. It's the submarine game we played with CJ and Psycho last Thursday. It was very good. Like, I have been playing it nonstop. I've also been dying nonstop. I wish it had an Iron Man mode. I don't like how it has... I, I don't like how you guys... I don't know if the Borrow Trauma community is in chat... But you guys are babies. You guys be playing, like, it's way too easy to save scum in that game. Like, you can just, as soon as, like, anything goes wrong, you can just click the retry button, and it'll just, like, put you back at the last station with everything that you had. What the fuck is that chair? <laughs> with everything you had before you left the station. I want to fucking, I want to die, dude. If I get killed, I don't want to have a retry button. I had to... Like, I had to actively just delete my own saves, like, like, 
instead of clicking retry when stuff goes wrong because i don't want to be a baby uh like cheesing if i make a mistake and i lose my entire party i gotta start over from the beginning <laughs> at least that's how i like to play those games i want to do a, like a one take i don't want to constantly like oh i i i slightly did an unoptimized action let me just click the retry button real quick and do it over again I wish they had a, like, n like a no save mode. That would be fun. There might be a... Yeah, I, I, I wish it was more like Darkest Dungeon. <laughs> Something like that. It, 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 I've had some crazy moments where I've had, like... My favorite moment was, like, as I explained earlier, where uh, my submarine started carpeting in the living room. Oh, yeah, you're right. Where my submarine started sinking. Um because I was being attacked by like three hammerheads or some crazy shit. And then it sank all the way to the bottom of the ocean. And I got out of the submarine to fight some like crawlers, some sl small monsters that my guns couldn't hit. And then my crew, because the crew is AI, repaired the submarine, fixed all the holes. And then because I had it on autopilot, maintained position, because I was like, uh, like a thousand meters above, I started sinking. It wanted to maintain position back up all the way to like the station. So the submarine started rising and I couldn't catch up with it. And it just like, I was just lost in the middle of the ocean with like, uh, like a, a half a, an oxygen tank and a dream. <laughs> and I fucking died because I ran out of oxygen. It was terrifying. Some of the scariest shit. Because I like... Oh, the cur the pictures moved. Because in the game, you can also... Like, if you're playing single player, you can change between which character. I don't want to do that. I don't want to change between characters. I just want to be one guy. And then if my crew fucks me over, I just die. <laughs> the crew abandoned me. I also want to play more multiplayer. I just want to hop into random multiplayer servers and see what it's like. Because it seems like I can imagine a community or a game like that having a pretty like awesome community where everyone's just playing it all the time. Should attempt to find massive creatures. I fought a blood mother or whatever the fuck it was called. It was pretty massive. Yeah, it's very good. I think that was the biggest creature I saw. It was very big. Also, we're just, like, easily killed. How, how did we have three anomalies, three intruders in the first hour, and then none for the next four? <laughs> like, what's going on? I've not played much Outlast Trials, no. I haven't really played it. I wanted to finish the, uh, the update, like, the Omega Trial, but I don't think we'll... Uh, maybe they already removed it, I don't know. It's a very good game. You need to talk about intruders again so they show up. Extra stuff in the kitchen? What? I don't see it. Extra object in the kitchen? I mean, I believe it, but what is it? At the back- On the shelves, there's like a toilet- Like a- Some paper towels? Really? Yeah, you're right. Okay, nice. I did not expect that. That's sneaky, man. Also, this lamp is fucked. Will I be doing a series on Borrow Trauma? I kind of... Like... I... I play games in a way that is going to make people so angry on YouTube. And I need to, like, control myself. Because I'm, like... Ready to ditch Dave the Diver and play something else. Because I'm all of a sudden, like, engrossed in Borrow Trauma. But I'm going to finish Dave the Diver. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm going to finish it. But, like, I... The way I play games is, like... I'll play it every single day for months on end. And then literally one day to the next, I drop it cold turkey. Never play it again. Never touch it in my entire life. Like I've done that for so many games. Uh, and then most of the time, like a year after, all of a sudden I play it again for like months straight. And then I drop it again from one day to the next. Like I'll just be like a power consumer of a game. Like do literally everything. Like get annoyed because the wiki fucking sucks and like there's not enough information and i'm like is no one no one is like into this game as much as i am why does no one have this very specific problem that i have god damn it 
<laughs> like, when you do this in this one specific quest, will it have this interaction with this other thing? Why does no one know? God damn it. You bunch of posers. You pretend to be a fan of this game. Anyway, uh, replaced object right here. The light in the hallway as well. This this uh, carpet is different. That's what I'm reporting here. That and what did you say? The light in the hall. Wait, it nice. Okay, so that last one was the light. All right, so we won that one twice. We really need to win the house, man, or the hotel. Okay, so let's pay attention. We have four papers here. We got two boxes. Two boxes there. Three boxes there. Two boxes. This is tough. Okay. 203, we have two paintings, a bunch of cleaning supplies, and then here we have, because I was looking at this the whole time. Oh no, the stack of plates got way higher. The stack of plates was like super high before. I didn't never reported that, I think. Um, but yeah, we have two stacks. We got a stack of bowls. We got uh, plates and like some glasses. This one, four pillows. Okay, so it was always a castle, and this was always in the corner. Keep that in mind. And then here, this is this shovel is the same. Three here, four here, okay? Three, four, and this light is off? Wait. I guess the light is supposed to be off, or is this already an anomaly? Why the hell did it just all tab? Why did it all tab? It was always off, okay. Um... All right, that's it. We're already we're already in a circle. Easy peasy. Okay, now we gotta spot the anomalies. Table table moved. You're right. Already moved. Look at that. In the patio or whatever. Mean Marcy, thank you for the five. Did they just fucking? I was gonna like play Modern Warfare two for nostalgia's sake because apparently people. But wait, what? Oh no, it moved. Wait, are you kidding me? It's supposed to be like this. Or did I report it wrong? Wait, so it was wrong the whole time? <laughs> oh, wow. This is normal? Because it was like aligned with this table the whole game? Okay, we're idiots. <laughs> I thought that was supposed to be that way. Um, There's two boxes here as well. Has that always been like that, I guess? Damn. We're stupid. What was I just gonna say? I was gonna say something, but I forgot. Um, yeah, and two, two, and there's also two holes here. <clears throat> Why has someone got a vending machine in their house? This is a hotel. This is not a house. And this is like a class. Oh yeah, call a modern warfare. Oh my god, he's back. <laughs> You're interrupting me, friend. <laughs> That's such a good fucking. Oh man, I love that. But yeah, Modern Warfare 2 is literally like my childhood. Like, there was a time where I, where I genuinely didn't... Like, it was the first PC game I seriously... Like, I actually played pretty much. After, like, I don't know, Quack Attack and freaking Freddy Fish and shit like that. Um, and I just genuinely didn't think there were any other games. Like, I just thought Steam was a platform to get Modern Warfare 2 and that was all. Like, I just thought it was, like, the only game that existed. <laughs> For some reason. I don't know why I believe that. I thought there were no other games. It was only Modern Warfare 2. <laughs> and I don't know how I thought that, because there obviously should be Modern Warfare 1 as well. But nope, it was just that one. <laughs> Ghostberry Berry, thank you for the 19. It, you, it was my most played game for my entire life until... Uh, probably League of Legends, but I, you don't have an hour count for League, so I don't count that one. But Phasmo. Phasmo was the only game on Steam. I, I No, actually, Dark Souls 3, I think. 203 changed number again. Dark Souls 3, I think, was slightly higher, but it was similar in a similar ballpark. Hallway. Moved object. Yeah, I played it for like 700 hours in like two years. Just nothing else. It was so good. He... Like, the, the kill streaks in that game are just the best we've ever seen. Like, there's never been better kill streaks. And that's honestly the reason why I don't like any other Call of Duty. Because they all have, like, boring, shitty-ass kill streaks. 
Like being able to chain. Oh, there's more uh, things now. Being able to chain kill streaks is just such a is fucking amazing. <laughs> like being able to go from like predator missile to uh, the like the airstrike plus like uh, plane that like shoots shit, and then uh going to heli or helicopter that like fights for you automatically and then into like i mean you can only have three but you could choose how to chain them it was so good glasses oh yeah glasses like i missed that shit but apparently i was gonna say that apparently they took down modern warfare 2 multiplayer on steam because people were like putting malware on people's computer or something like they were hacking like actual computers which is kind of fucked i hope they're gonna update it i doubt it because why would they because there was only like 500 people playing it but man i wish they br I, I hope they bring it back pillows pillows like the because I remember, like, logging in in, like, 2014 on Modern Warfare 2 and just getting, like, two hacked lobbies back-to-back -back and being like, Damn, there goes my childhood. <laughs> it's, like, literally still a child. Because I was like, damn, dude, I remember when I, when I got to play this game. But that's no more. My life's over, dude. I'm a jaded old man now. Uh, extra object right here, obviously. Cause they fucking hack like there were so many hackers like literally every lobby was just a hacker in 2014 it was crazy but man what would what i i was genuinely thinking like i want to buy a, an xbox to because apparently xbox has like a massive player explosion for modern warfare 2 right now like there's so many people playing it because they brought back the online uh mode Oh yeah, there's an extra vent. What the hell? Because they brought back, uh, like, online multiplayer. So I was thinking buying an Xbox just to play the old Modern Warfare 2 on it. But I've never, I've never owned an Xbox, nor have I ever played a shooter with a controller. So it would be an absolute disaster. So I, I don't think I will, but I was thinking about it. <laughs> oh my god. Range light. Fuck. I mean the sing the single player also has never been better. Like I'm t I know I'm 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 extremely biased, but like Modern Warfare 2 was genuinely the peak of Modern Warfare cuz the single player in that game is so fucking good. Like it's it holds up perfectly well till today. Like I would love to play that again at some point. But I think I'm I'm saving them until like the nostalgia gets too bad and then i will make like a video on it or something at some point but like the 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 campaign in that game is crazy like it's so ridiculous too the fucking nuke <laughs> the the nuke in like outer space to bring down the helicopters and shit like that it was ridiculous but it was like epic as hell are we missing something by the way Plants? There's three plants, right? There's supposed to be three. Yeah. It's based on it. Man, I you gotta watch uh, Donkey's video on that campaign. What the fuck? It's like, it summarizes so well how everyone who played it at the right time feels about that game. I haven't watched a Donkey video in a while. Is he still... Have I just not seen it am i recommended or has he has he been chilling hallway painting oh yeah there's a dude on the hallway painting what the hell you're right donkey is still uploading didn't he do fucking like what was it donkey donkey kong month or whatever <laughs> donkey <laughs> what was it again he did like a video on donkey kong every day or something <laughs> weird He did Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah, yeah, I saw some Tears of the Kingdom videos. 
But that's like quite a while ago already. I never finished Tears of the Kingdom, by the way. I just got busy again. Feels bad, man. Tables on patio. Wait. No, you guys are speaking of past... Uh, this is how it's supposed to be. It was moved the whole game. Like, last game, it was moved the whole time. And we never reported it. Extra bowls? No, no, no. No, 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 no. Yeah, this is supposed to be like this. If it ever moves on top of this one, that's when we gotta. That's when we gotta worry. I we're definitely missing something though, so maybe. The brown. Oh, uh, sure. I'll say extra object here. It doesn't really matter because we have. We are not reporting anything anyway. Noir key, Noir key. Thank you for the eight. Oh, you were right. Never mind. What even was it? <laughs> What even was it next? Oh, it was this thing down here. Wait, what? There was like a white thing down here. <laughs> well, nice. Well, I guess I could report it again to see if it's the bulls as well. Prodigium, thank you for the 12. That's been there the whole run. You know what would be really fun? Is doing like a borrow trauma, like multiplayer stream where I just like make a public server. And you guys all join the submarine and we just see what happens. <laughs> oh, that'd be so good. That'd be fucking chaos. <laughs> and then I'm just the captain, like, trying to keep together this absolute mess of a crew. <laughs> like, just 30 people on a tiny submarine. Do not recommend bad time. I mean, that's the thing. It's just for content. I was in the bedroom. Oh. Is it missing or did they move? Because they are in a similar spot that I remember, but there might be one, like there were two stacks of titles uh, or towels. Oh yeah, they're missing. Okay. Community submarine. Uh, missing. Nice. And someone said here, I don't see what it would be there. We haven't had a uh, warning yet. Well, that's that's good. We still can fill. Uh, there's things there. Extra object. What's the first console? I guess a Game Boy, if that counts. My freaking Mario Game Boy Advance that I still got laying around somewhere. Those things are freaking indestructible. My Game Boy still works. I've gone through- Oh, there's a dude! Hello! I've gone through so many different DS's. I think I had three DS's. Because they always break at the hinges. The fucking DS is so poorly built. The Game Boy is... freaking like, super strong. But the, the DS was just a flimsy piece of hardware. <clears throat> Door open? No, the door's supposed to be open. And this is still moving as well, yeah. Making you feel like you have memory. Oh my god, he's there. Oh boy. Intruder, man. Finally, more intruders. She's gonna. Sh <laughs> yeah, there he goes. What the fuck? Got seven DSs. Why? <laughs> Why you got so many? What do you do with them? Like the Pokemon games only having one save is like my entire childhood. Like I still have like I imagine a world in which the Pokemon games allowed you to have multiple saves, and I think it would have been a worse world, at least for me. Like the feeling of like I, I spend like I mean, not, what was the maximum time? Because I reached maximum time in Diamond. Like 9999, nine, like a thousand hours, I think is the max time in that game. And I just... I have like almost every single Pokemon. Even though some of them are so fucked up to get. Because you have to like use... Because remember when you could put like... Remember where you could put your Pokemon DS cartridge and then also at the bottom your 
your Game Boy Advance cartridge and you could like trade Pokemons between them. That shit was awesome. <laughs> that shit was so good. Light in the Ice Room? No? Missing box and reception. I could see that. Yes, you're right. <clears throat> Missing object here. This box. This is still fine. Are I a Mario or Luigi player? Neither. I love how my Game Boy Advance was literally Mario themed. I think it's because the Mario game I had was so ass. It had like these really stupid mini games that were far too advanced for a fucking dumb child. And it made me hate Mario. <laughs> extra ice? Wait, what? Oh, extra box. And I've never liked Mario ever since that game because those fucking mini games made no sense. No, it wasn't WarioWare. It was just a... It was just a Mario game, but it was like a... Strange puzzle Mario game. Like, it wasn't a normal Mario game. This was Strange Light, right? Bamboo is leaning too far? I'll report it. Is it? Yeah, I feel like it's been like this the whole time, but sure. Sure, we have nothing better to do anyway. <clears throat> Switch games allow you to have multiple saves. Not the Pokemon games, right? Nope, not found. Like, there's just something so magical. Like, I still remember the Alpha Sapphire was, I think, the last time I... I mean... What was it called? The, the latest Pokemon games were pretty good. Um... I enjoyed them. I never finished them. But that's more of a me problem nowadays that I don't finish those type of games because I just kind of get... Like, I get it. After a while, I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. If I had all the time in the world, I would finish this game, but I just got shit to do. <laughs> I got shit to do, and I got all the enjoyment I want to have out of this game, so I'll just do something else now. Um, but the last, like, handheld... Well, I guess Switch is also a handheld, but the last... Uh, regular Pokemon game that I actually played and finished is uh, Alpha Sapphire, I think. I really like that one. I think they did some cool stuff with the remake there. They added some new fun systems where you could, like, EV train your Pokemons really easily, I think, something like that, which was kind of nice. Like, they did some cool stuff. Mystery Dungeon? I fucking hated Mystery Dungeon because I... I think there's probably, there's gotta be a lot of people like me around that like got a mystery dungeon game because they were like, oh, it's Pokemon. It's gonna be awesome. And then you get mystery dungeon and you're like, what the hell? This is not Pokemon. What is this garbage? <laughs> and then you just hate it because <laughs> you, your expectations were so like out of whack. That's what happened for me. I was like, because all these things I, I got a, when I was like a, a literal like baby man and I didn't know what the hell I was doing missing object in the bedroom what oh yeah the missing uh, pencils you're right you're totally right want another Pokemon Ranger I also don't like the turn-based nature of those games it's real weird like they feel they feel like mod games. Like, they feel fake. They don't feel real. They, don't, they feel like some, like, Steam Workshop, uh, type of a mod that's been made for Pokemon. Like, that's al always how I felt about them. And even till this day. Box movement? Box movement? Oh, yeah, you're right. Holy shit, you guys are spotting some things that... This thing down here is different. Um, you guys are spotting some things I'm not seeing at all. If I played the old Power Rangers... I never watched Power Rangers nor got any of their games. I didn't like live action. I think the only live action show I really enjoyed was uh, Zack and Cody. That shit was awesome. Like... Whenever Big Time Rush would come on, you would be like, fuck this shit, get out of here. Uh, 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 uh. 
No, not again. Where's my Zack and Cody? <laughs> Zack and Cody was the shit, dude. Oh, hi there. Intruder at the very end here. The fucking the the scene of I forgot what his name was, but the the manager teaching the like rich uh, daughter of the owner of the hotel in the car like, what what do I do with the Prindle stick? <laughs> with the Prindle? Do you want M or F <laughs> on the radio? <laughs> like it's so fucking good, man. It gets me every time. <laughs> It's one of the funniest shit I've ever seen. <laughs> it's a classic, the Prindle. <laughs> oh man, the finding moments of my childhood. All right, well anyway, we beat the damn game. It's this is the this is the thing that always happens with observation duty games. We just start talking about other shit because we are too damn good at them. But yeah, this game is very good. I I like this one. I'll keep an eye on this to see if they add more maps. They say coming soon here. So they're probably gonna add more maps but those were some good anomalies they had some very creepy ones very akin to alternate watch so if you like this one cannot recommend uh alternate watch uh more because it, it's i would say alternate watch is like this one but slightly better because it has more anomalies it's only one map alternate watch but it has so many anomalies it's amazing so yeah if you didn't watch any of my videos which i made quite a few videos on it i'll link it over in the top right but we're probably gonna come back to this at some point anyway i hope you enjoyed if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you dislike it dislike it and if you want to join the lovely gamers here in chat you can join us over at twitch.tv slash the link in the description down below thank you so much and i'll see you in the next one bye guys have a good one bye bye